Your real name is Victoria. My real name is Kictoria, actually. Ah, so Kictor, short for Kictoria. Victoria was my father. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? It's Kicker. I'm here with my beautiful girlfriend Stitch to finally <laughs> open my 100,000 subscriber plaque. Got this box from YouTube oh and I'm so excited. Oh my god. I just want to thank everyone so much for supporting me. This has been absolutely the most fun I've ever had in my life. It has changed my life. Oh my god, man, this is like actually so good. I'm so excited. It's happening. Oh my god, it's Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <gasps> oh, from wait, YouTube from himself? himself? From YouTube himself. Do you remember your first subscriber? Your 100th, your 1,000th subscriber? Chances are you do. And we know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000th subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. Oh my God. We know that you have many more stories to share with your community, and we know that your fans can't wait for you to amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you'll do next, and we're here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your millionth subscriber, we may just write to you and ask, do you remember your 100,000 subscriber? Brings a tear to your eye. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Neil Mohan, YouTube CEO. That is so cool. And the thing that's crazy is that like, it really does feel like there is a community with this channel and like, especially our kickflips on our membership where we actually hang out and it's like a real friend group that we've all made together and it's just been an incredible journey. Oh my God, they spelled my name wrong. Stop. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <gasps> can see myself in it. Oh my goodness. Presented to Kicker for passing 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh my God. So many of my favorite creators and stuff, you can see them in the background of their videos and wow. <laughs> Where are we gonna put it? Ooh. I guess you'll have to wear this for the rest of the video. It's not so bad. <laughs> Okay, so you guys may have subscribed to me and you so you may think you know things about me. So <laughs> Let's hear what you guys think about me <laughs> You're really young like under 20. I am in my 20s <laughs> BL does wonders for the skin. I guess this person says. Oh my god. Yeah, it's uh Hua Chung's uh, heavenly nuts <laughs> Enough refer to the previous video <laughs> You're good at ice skating. I played hockey for many, many years. I still play hockey, so I can skate pretty good. You have a cave full of 10,000 figures or statues of Shilin and Hua Chung. I mean... <laughs> cave present? <laughs> the cave is in the room with us? And there's still more to add. <laughs> You're obsessed with reading Don Mei? The only ones I've read are Heaven Official's Blessing, Modazushi, I'm working on Scum Villain, and I'm in the middle of Arha. So compared to people like you, oh, I've read half of Case Filed as well. That's true. I haven't read a ton. You and Stitch are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Only sometimes. <laughs> I use the pronouns she, her. However, I always did want to be a boy. <laughs> but then I think I realized I just kind of like dressing like a boy. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a, a term that actually resonates with me a lot is tomboy. It's like a girl who maybe has more like historically masculine interests, like yeah. sports and wearing hoodies. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, what else do, what what else do boys do? Ah, uh, yes, my masculine hobby of <laughs> shipping boys together. <laughs> you love boys so much. I, let me tell you how much I love boys. You have W Riz. I mean, I got this one, didn't I? <laughs> You're attached to your girlfriend. Definitely. <laughs> We do everything together. Like even when I was like organizing this shelf, like I was like, do you want to come in here and like hang out with me? Like, <laughs> and I did. Yeah. It's great. I think the term parallel play um, <laughs> applies to us a lot. Like we'll, yes. even if we're not doing the same activity, we'll be in the same room doing yeah. something together. It's just nice being close to you. Yeah. You are over 180 centimeters tall. It's Gojober. <laughs> I'm 5'10". Oh, 5'10"? 5'10"? Yeah. You're 5'10"? My license says 5'10". I've been, I've been gallivanting around saying I'm 5'9", and my license says I'm 5'10". Okay, you can't, it's not like your license measures you from head to toe. At some point I was measured and At put it on my- At some point you were my... coined me and you were 5'10". 
Get the measuring tape right now. Wait, 175 centimeters? Centimeters. What does it say in inches? 69. <laughs> what? You're 5'9, bitch. <laughs> wow, I'm so small. You've never doubted how you look. There were days where I like did not go to high school because I thought I looked ugly. <laughs> Yeah, or I'd like make my dad turn around so I could go home and like fix my hair or something. Wow, I've never had an ugly day off of school. Um, you've never had an ugly day in your life. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I didn't know that. You have no tragic backstory. <laughs> Actually, I have one thing in common with Shelly Ann. I'll let you figure out which one that is. You are gay. Jury's out on that one. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't really... In the kindest way possible, you don't wash your arms in the shower. I can actually vouch for this one. She does. She's good at washing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Thank you. A little bit too revealing. Oh, no, I think we are gay. <laughs> um, you have a secret talent you don't tell anyone. Oh, I definitely would tell someone if I had a secret talent. You can juggle. Give me three items. Give me three <laughs> items. <laughs> Gang's all here. <laughs> Wow, your cooking is just as good as Shelian's. Ooh, I did ruin a pot the other day though because I accidentally cooked the rice on high for 10 minutes. Turn it down and you know. then set the very hot pot on the counter. And now there's a big mark on the counter. There's a bit of Shelian in me, I will say. <laughs> that was pretty Shelian of you. What is your favorite cosplay of Stitches and your favorite of yourself? Definitely Stitch's Blackwater. You just look so good as him. <laughs> oh my God. Stitch is like an incredible cosplayer. Duh. Like anytime we cosplay, it's just like absolutely incredible. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite for you? Shi Ching Xuan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. It's just Beef Leaf Agenda in here. Yeah, we have we have the most fun as Beef Leaf, I think. Yeah, it yeah. is a lot of fun. You loved Oran High School Host Club. I did love Oran High School Host Club. Hurry, I have an idea that might cure our depression. Daddy. <laughs> well, I'm cured. It was like in my first, okay, my first year of university, I hadn't seen Oran. I had a boyfriend and he broke up with me. And that day I like really got into Oran. That really, <laughs> the host club is like, innocent lady, wounded heart, yeah. we shall save you. The host club took me in. And I fell in love with Tamaki, like, oh my god. You're really good at drawing. I'm trying to learn to draw. I've been doing like a 30 day drawing challenge. I've gotten pretty good at drawing Gojo <laughs> because he doesn't have eyes. <laughs> wow, everyone thinks you're either an Omega or a guy. <laughs> okay, why can't you be both? You like Roye over Aming. No, I like Aming more. <laughs> Because Roye is kind of like a boob grabber. It's true. We're, not, we're not cool with that. No, and Umming is like little baby Hua Chung's inner thoughts. Like, I love <laughs> Roye, of course, but Umming, come on. He's like a little puppy. Are there any MXTX characters that you actually legitimately hate? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I feel like I've gotten called out for hating Mooching. Really? Yeah. And like, I think it's just because we've made a lot of jokes Kind of like from Hua Chung's perspective of uh, like mooching and function, like abandoning Chilean mm -hmm. and like betraying him. And I love mooching. Mm -hmm. How could you not? Right. In that moment though, where he like betrays Chilean, like that hurt. And like, of course I like didn't like him. I thought he was being rude and like, like how could you do this? But also if you look at it from his perspective, you understand why he did it. And I also think the reason why, like if you look back, mooching and function do the things they do is to show how different they are from Hua Chung, who would mm -hmm. never do what they did. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of immature to be like, oh, I hate them because they betrayed Shailian. It's like, no, what they did was pretty normal, actually. <laughs> Hua Chung is the abnormality who never faltered kind of thing. His devotion's George. <laughs> <laughs> he's, and he's an outlier and therefore should not be counted. That's so funny. So no, I, even all the villains, I really like them. I've always loved villains, especially like in a fandom, I'm okay with kind of separating like their evil crimes to like come up with alternate universes if you like their character and stuff like that. Yeah, so I, I, I don't hate Mu Ching. 
<laughs> and I know there's lots of people that are very defensive of him. He's, at the end of the day, he's a cat boy. Cat boys are fun to pick on. Yeah. They like it deep down inside. <laughs> It's nothing serious. How could I dislike someone like Mooching when I love Jung Chung? <laughs> it's the same picture. <laughs> <laughs> like Jung Chung like betrays Wei Wu Shen and makes terrible choices, <laughs> far worse than Mooching. And I love that man. <laughs> Why has it taken you so long to read Scum Villain? I like I had not read a book in a very long time before I read TGCF. That once I finished it, it was like, wow, not gonna do that again. <laughs> I think maybe Scum Villain didn't hook me as much because while I was reading Scum Villain, that is when Arha came out. Mm. And I was very intrigued about like why Arha was so like contentious of like, oh, there's like some really bad stuff in here. So I was very curious of like, how bad is it? And then I think Meat Bun's writing style in Arha hooked me quicker than MXDX's writing style in Scum Villain did. Mm. That being said, I'm enjoying it a lot. That's probably why it's taken so long. Are you a Donmei multi-shipper? Okay, I could just lay out my TGCF ships. Okay, okay. give us the diagram. Okay, Hualien. I do feel like Hualien is pretty sacred. Mm -hmm. I don't like separating Hualien. And I also personally don't like adding like a third to Hualien, like a polyamorous thing. I'm like Hualien, to me, I enjoy the most when they're monogamous together. Beef leaf? I ship that so much. I'm almost like, don't break up Beef Leaf more than I am, don't break up Hualien. <laughs> They've been thrown off, actually. It's true. It's true. I cannot imagine shipping He Xuan with anyone else or Xi Qing Xuan with anyone else. One that's like a little bit more like, ooh, is um, like Feng Xin having a crush on Shailian when they were younger. Mm -hmm. I, I really like that. Kind of like in a Joe and Cherry, Adam situation because yeah, yeah. like Mooching would like function but function like Shillian and like something like that when, when they were like teenagers yeah. back in the day kind of thing. I remember while I was reading the book I did ship like Yushi Huang and Pei Ming. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that that was gonna like happen just because she has so much power over him like she scares him and he's such like a confident playboy that he finally kind of met his match. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cute. Oh, I, I shipped Junwoo and uh, Mei Nang Ching or whatever, mm -hmm. like his, like Guoshi. I love that. Like Bora has some incredible art with uh, Junwoo when he was younger and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the pining of like Mei Nang Ching, like pining after Junwoo. What about Junwoo and Shilian? <laughs> Junwoo and Shilian, oh my gosh. I think like, especially a lot of Bora's art is like really funny. Mm -hmm. And like, I kind of love it in like, Junwoo being like a yandere type of like yeah. crazy person after him. I don't like ship it though. Mm. But also I'm someone that like, I can look at art of anything. I can read fan fiction of anything. I feel like if a friend feels very passionate about like a ship or like art and they want to share it with me, I can like totally like talk about it with them and not yeah. be like, ew, I don't ship that. Yeah, you're not gonna yuck on someone's yum. No, no, never, never. But those are some of my personal favorites. What are some videos that you haven't made yet that you really want to make? Making wontons as Moran <laughs> and Chuaning. Oh my god, we could do that. I was yes. thinking like bigger dreams. So yeah, I've, I've kind of been learning to draw and like I can play music. So I would love to make an animatic one day. <gasps> That would be so cool. That would be really cool. Like even just starting off with like little chibi ones like like people make in TikToks and then making like a serious one would be really cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel and subscribing. I cannot believe there's over a hundred thousand of you guys. You have literally changed my life. And I have this saying that I always, I love so much that is shoot for the moon. And even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. And I feel like that's such a cheesy saying, but it really got me through a lot of like the earlier days of YouTube when like you're kind of putting videos out there and they're not getting views. So it's like, just shoot for the moon, like put a video out and think it's gonna be good. And even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Eventually people will find your channel or eventually you'll have one that goes viral. And that's what happened to me. And if that's something that you want to do, you have my confidence that it can happen. And if you would like to help support my channel even more, you can click join down below and learn more about my YouTube membership. We kind of spoke about the community and it's just a place where we hang out, we watch Danmei together and we play games afterwards and it is so, so much fun. 
So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.